On November 28, 2002, the Traffords left their real estate closing at Stewart Title of Northern New England to spend their first night in their very first home, a new construction on two acres at the end of a private road in Wyndham, Maine. What the Traffords did not know was that their deed, their mortgage, and their title insurance policy were attached to the 14 acres of land just beyond them. The Traffords were not sold the land they built their house on. Mike Manning, who was at the wheel, escaped by crawling through the window. His 16,000-pound truck is owned by MGM builders and was carrying a load of salt when it went through the ice. There are varying reports about why the truck was on the ice in the first place. Manning says the truck is insured. Manning says the truck is insured. The following year, and with no effort to inform the Traffords, Michael Manning of MGM Builders and Matthew Campbell of Stewart Title submitted a second deed to the county registry in an attempt to give the Traffords the parcel of land they intended to buy. However, there was no effort to reconcile the Traffords mortgage or title insurance policy or to return the original 14 acres back to Manning. In contrast to what the registry shows, this corrective deed states that Manning did not own the land he first transferred to the Traffords. Soon after, Manning began to extend Evans Ridge, building and selling numerous homes on land that was discreetly placed with the Traffords. It's no surprise that Stewart Title helped close many of those deals. Did this arrangement help Manning avoid local and state subdivision review? Did this also help Stewart employees match their monthly quota of closings in order to receive luxurious getaways to the Balsams Resort in New Hampshire? With such remarkable numbers, it's no surprise that Matthew Campbell soon became president of Stewart Title of Northern New England. Possibly concerned his actions would later be questioned, Manning sold most of the Evans Ridge properties to family and friends including his parents, his in-laws, an employee of the Wyndham Code Enforcement Department, and a former employee of Stewart Title of Northern New England. In 2008, several homeowners on Evans Ridge were informed that Manning sold them adjacent lands that lacked proper easements. That is, they were not legally permitted to drive from the main road to their property and vice versa. Stewart, who should have discovered this problem in the title search they charged for, insured the first homeowner in this rare scenario. Reluctantly, Stewart was forced to rectify those easements, using tactics that only deteriorated relations on the road. Ultimately, years of animosity on Evans Ridge escalated to a level where one homeowner in this position made anonymous calls to the Maine Department of Health and Human Services, providing fictitious information in regards to the safety of the Trafford's three children resulting in what the judge referred to as the longest harassment trial in the history of Maine's 9th District Court. The Traffords obtained legal counsel in the spring of 2010 and were educated to the underlying title issues and have spent more than $50,000 with two law firms to encourage Stewart to resolve these matters. Stewart, one of the largest and most profitable title insurance providers in the world, has denied any accountability for problems created at the Traffords' closing and refuses to explain the company's subsequent behavior. A former attorney for Stewart provided information pertaining to the company's decision to hire a document destruction service from Virginia to burn the company's only copies of area closings when Stewart Title of Northern New England shut its doors in 2006. Ironically, Phoenix Title Services quickly rose from the ashes, where Matthew Campbell is Executive Vice President and continues to sell insurance policies for Stewart Title. So, if you live in Maine or New Hampshire and you purchased a title policy from this insurance giant during or prior to the boom, it's likely Stewart has no record of your transaction. In 2007, the Maine Attorney General filed a lawsuit against Matthew Campbell's wife, Catherine Campbell, at Down East Mortgage, the Traffords' original lender for corrupt lending procedures. The Traffords' original attorney has brought their case to the Maine Legislature and successfully reformed the state's statute of limitations on warranty deeds from six years to 20. 
Today, the real estate boom is over. Michael Manning is building less homes, but he and his wife Anne are constructing quite a case, suing for damages the Evans Ridge extension has caused to their reputations. The Traffords believe their title and others on Evans Ridge are highly unmarketable and have reluctantly turned their home into a rental property. Advice? If you're in the market for real estate, the Traffords highly suggest that you use a broker and bring your own attorney to the closing. In their opinion, Stewart blew it.